only for those working with an NFL paycheck. So Devon Kennard has been in the NFL for uh, some 10 years. He played at Desert Vista High School in Ahwatukee. That's where he's from. And then USC, uh, Olivia's rival out in L.A. <laughs> before hitting the NFL. But he also, of course, realized that that wouldn't last forever. So he's here to share all about his life in real estate and to talk about this Damn. new book. It all adds up. So Devon, it is great to have you in studio. Thank you guys so much. I, I remember watching you guys growing up. Uh, <laughs> so here so we go. Cool. Here the old <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's get to it. Can we borrow some money? Retirement's yeah. right around the corner. Yeah, really. <laughs> really. Uh, I, yeah, I just love real estate, so it's fun to talk about. Um, you were, you know, making a lot of money in the NFL, but you knew that wasn't going to last forever. So that's when you bought your first house in where, Indianapolis? Yeah, so that's how I got started. I started, I got into the NFL and I realized it's not for long. People don't realize that, but the average career is under four years. Years. So I, I had a lot of injuries in college. So when I entered the NFL, it's like, how can I maximize my earning potential now so that I can make sure I'm in a position to be successful once my career is over, whether that's one year or, you know, now going into my 10th year. So that's the mindset I had. And I started to get into real estate right off the bat, bought my first property in Indianapolis and it and just steamrolls from there. And as I started to go on, I started to realize that anybody can follow this kind of, uh, you know, blueprint. Mm -hmm. And I wanted to create a game plan to where everyone could understand how to invest and how to move forward in the real estate game to reach financial freedom. He is uh, obviously was a standout athlete and student at USC as I was reading you got your master's degree yeah. in about the same time most of us would get our back <laughs> only our bachelor's you got your bachelor's <laughs> and your master's and maintain the highest GPA on your football team right at USC yeah yeah wow. I did and, you know my, my mentality in college was I, was I had an opportunity to go to USC for free you know getting a full ride scholarship and that's 70 80 grand a year so I was like how much can I get done in the time that I'm there and you know it, it took a lot of sacrifices but now once you're in the NFL I have guys who go back in the off season to um, you know get their degrees and I'm like I'm I'm done with that. Man, you did I already it got right. my degrees. Good for you and model looks to boot. So yeah, <laughs> life's not fair. Yeah. But let's talk about that. So a lot of people sitting out there might be thinking, I can't even get my first house. Yeah. I can't I can't afford it. So where do you tell people to begin? I think it starts with financial literacy because there's so many options out there that people just write themselves off right off the bat. And there there's things you can do. So one start saving. You know, look at what you're what you're saving and putting some money aside, but there, there's different kind of loans out there that you can get. There's different starting points. So mentality-wise, it's like, all right, not I just can't, but how can I? So ask, right. your, ask that question and start to figure out ways to save money and invest in things that's going to give you uh, passive income. And I, and I truly believe there's people out there that are starting with no money and starting with uh, thousands of dollars. Right. So there's ways to get into real estate. So don't write yourself off. Mm -hmm. Learn about the game. And you know, start with podcasts like Bigger Pockets and and things like that. To where um, that's how I realized, man, there's people who have way less money than me who are starting and building out real estate portfolios of 20, 50, hundreds of properties. Why wow. can't I do it? Right. Um, and they're starting with nothing. So when you start to understand that, it's like, all right, these people aren't that much smarter than me. They they so, have you know the same outlook that I have. So why can't I do it? And I think if people take that outlook, then they'll be able to be successful. And at one point, you write about uh, going in on a property with a buddy, right? I think mm -hmm. you're each pulling together $12,000 or something. And so it, it is collaborating, taking those first steps, and those first steps begin to change everything. Oh, absolutely. You know, um, my first property, that was my first property in Indianapolis, and he put in 12000 I put in 12000 because we were scared. You know, I was like, if I lose 12000 that's going to hurt, but I can survive. And right. that, was my, that was my mindset. But I always tell people, you know, take your first shot. Learn as much as you can, and then get in the game because if you never do that, then you won't learn. So that first property, you know, it, it wasn't game changing for me as far as the amount of money I made, but it got the ball rolling and, and probably helped gave me you the confidence too yeah. to yeah. have the next Absolutely. One. So yeah. now I'm like, wow, this is really working. I can scale from here. I can do more. And, you know, I gained more confidence and knowledge as I went. Life coach right here. Seriously, that's the book. It's just now coming out. I was pre-order right now. I was also reading you do a kind of a book uh, a book club on your Instagram. She's got her own book club. Oh, we, we got, got the tag team. Yeah, let's do that. <laughs> I really need to read this. Trust me. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Congratulations. Yeah, thank great you so much. You, you can pre-order it now. It all adds up. Congratulations. Thank you. All right.